Hey guys, welcome to Sunday Morning Wrestling. I am your host, Wesley, and kicking off today's show, as always, is the SMW YouTube Championship, and Tatanka is defended against the returning Iron Sheik. Now, Iron Sheik was on a tear as the Intercontinental Champion when he was here last time. Let's see if he can take the title off of Tatanka. Our main event of this morning is also a championship match. It's for the SMW World Heavyweight Championship. And that is Sean Michaels taking on Macho Man once again. But as you know, British Bulldog has been suspended after last week's cage match. So Macho Man will have no backup for that match. But let's concentrate on what is in front of us as the referee breaks up the hold in the corner and the Sheik gets to Tanker on his shoulders. And what a nice flapjack there from the Iron Sheik and then a kick to the chest to add insult to injury. Sheik slamming to Tanker's arm against the mat. Big kick to the back. Lovely knee drop from the Sheik. Now the Sheik picking him back up, but Tatanka takes him over with a fireman's carry. Tatanka enjoyed himself as YouTube champion. Now picking him back up, wrenching the neck of the Iron Sheik. This will be a big scout for Tatanka. Tatanka picking the Sheik up off of his feet. Takes him over with a Russian leg sweep. Tatanka been a great YouTube champion so far. Atomic drop on the Sheik. Now Tatanka just taking a minute. Taking too long as the Sheik takes him down with an arm drag and then stamps on his back. And then again on his arm and goes for the quick cover. Not even a one count. Tatanka kicking out before the referee could hit his hand for one, but the Sheik trying to stay on top of him. Turns Tatanka over. Working on the knee of Tatanka, stopping that high aerial abilities of Tatanka. Takes him down the clothesline. Tatanka rolls out of the way, went for the chop, but Iron Sheik saw it coming and hit him with a right jab. Lovely hip toss from the Sheik. Sheik picking Tatanka back up, looking for this modified rock bottom and he hits it. It's been a while since we've seen that here guys, but it is good to see. And just a two count. Sheik can't believe it, Tatanka kicking out at two. Stomping on the arm again. Now the Sheik picking Tatanka up. Lovely power slam, sit out power slam there from the Sheik. And now the Sheik looking to end it, looking to get in the camel clutch. And he's got it in, look he's, how deep he's sitting on the lower back and nobody gets out of this. And we have a new YouTube champion and it is the Iron Sheik. Take a look at the replay guys. The Sheik all over to Tanker. The modified rock bottom there. Lovely stuff. Deserving new champion. Tatanka's had a good run. But the Sheik just too much for him. And once this camel clutch was hooked in. We all knew it was over. Look how deep he's sitting on the back of Tatanka. We knew it was over. And Tatanka just passes out. Referee calls it. And there you have it guys, the new YouTube champion, the Iron Sheik. Good stuff from the Sheik, still got that bad attitude though. Next up guys, Alondra Blaze versus Luna Vahon. Alondra Blaze picking up a fantastic win against the women's champion last week. Looking to continue that run against Luna as they tie up in the middle of the ring. But Luna overpowering Blaze into the corner. Referee getting in between them, got to break it up. Luna showing her power early on there though. Alondra Blaze gets her in a headlock. 
play center against the ropes. Ducks under. Went for the backdrop, but Luna scouted it and hit her with a DDT of her own. Nice kick to the back from Luna. They tie up again. Luna got her in a headlock again. The Landry Blaze trying to fight out. Takes her against the ropes once again. Ducks under again. And this time hits the backdrop. I would have thought Luna would have seen that coming after she did the first time. Turns Luna over. Smashing her head against the canvas. Went for the Hurricane Rana, but Luna drops her. Face plants her into the mat. So these two women obviously know each other very well. Luna with a powerbomb. Well, Luna's done a lot of research on Blaze. Goes for the cover. Not even a one. Again, Blaze kicking out before that one count. Luna going to work on Alundra Blaze. Stomping on her face. Luna picking Blaze up. Luna been in control of Blaze so far in this match. Taking her up for a suplex now. And she's up and over. Luna in control, picking Blaze up again. Taking Blaze to the corner. Running elbow in the corner. And then the running arse to face as Luna goes to the top rope. And look at that diving headbutt off the top. Gets the cover. Just the one. And Laundra Blaze staying in this. She really needs to get some offense in. And what's Luna looking for here? What's Luna doing? Good job this camera angle's positioned this way so we can't see it. That is uncalled for. Surely that should be a disqualification. But Alondra Blaze hits the jawbreaker and the Hurricane Rana. Obviously angered Alondra Blaze that has. Picks her up. Takes her over for a suplex. That did seem to fire Alondra Blaze up. Lovely clothesline, taking her down, and a second. Blaze, look at that. Spinning heel kick. Picking Luna back up. Takes Luna to the corner. Taking that slow walk, taking her up to the second. We've seen this before, guys. The handstand Hurricane Rana off the top rope, and now lining her up, maybe, for that German suplex pin combo that we've seen so many times since she has it she's got the pin in surely this one is over and Luna kicks out at two Blaze not disheartened though Blaze I thought she might have been a bit disappointed by that but just go straight on the attack again smashing her head into the canvas now dragging her to the middle of the ring Blaze booting her in the abdomen. Luna takes her over with an arm drag though, trying to get back into this. Blaze has had a lot of offense recently. But now Luna takes her to the corner. Hits that running elbow in the corner again. Goes for the cover. Goes for the dirty pin. Feet on the ropes. Just the two count. Blaze with a roundhouse kick to the face of Luna. Takes her to the corner again. Maybe looking for the handstand Hurricane Rana yet again. And yes, she is. She's got her up. And she comes flying back down. Goes for the cover. Referee. What are you doing, referee? Taking way too long to make the count. That would have been a three if the referee just got down in time. And now Blaze setting up. This German suplex again for a second time. Surely now this one is over. And it is. Luna throwing everything she had at Alondra Blaze. But Blaze still picking up the victory. And maybe a sign of respect here. Luna respecting Alondra Blaze and backing her to become the new champion. Next up guys, the Steiner Brothers versus the SMW World Tag Team Champions, the Brotherhood, Bobby Baker and Mark Jones. 
This is a non-title match. Steiner's feeling the brotherhood out. Snap suplex straight on to Bobby Baker. Nice right hands from Scott Steiner. Keeping Bobby Baker on the mat and then just taunting it to the crowd. Steiner just, just teasing Bobby Baker really. Playing with his food. Taking Bobby into the corner, hits the running clothesline in the corner on Bobby Baker. Picks Bobby Baker up off the floor. Bobby with a kick to the midsection. Follows it up with a DDT. Bobby Baker dragging him over to the corner, maybe looking to make a tag to Mark Jones. He does, Mark Jones making his way into the ring. Mark Jones looks fired up. What's he got in mind here? Throwing Steiner across the ring. Now Mark Jones wrenching at the neck again of Scott Steiner. Picking Steiner up. Steiner takes him over with a fireman's carry. Scott brings him into the middle. Scott Steiner with the whiplash. Steiner picking Mark Jones back up, taking Mark into his corner, maybe looking for a tag to his brother Rick. Mark Jones saw it coming though, knocks Rick Steiner off the side, sends Scott over to his own corner. Can they take advantage while Rick is out on the outside? Some double team action here. Landing on Bobby Baker's knee, but Rick Steiner's back up to the ringside. Advantage not taken. Look at this. Modified figure four by Bobby Baker. Scott Steiner looks in trouble, but Bobby Baker letting him go. He had him in the middle of the ring now. I feel like he should have took advantage, and Scott does make the tag to Rick Steiner. Steiner takes him down with a clothesline, and then a forearm, and then a third clothesline, taking him down. Now, Rick. Rick in control of Bobby. Falling fist to the face of Bobby Baker and now got him in a headlock Bobby Baker working his way to his feet fighting out from Rick Steiner He's trying to take Rick in to the corner looking for the tag to Mark Jones but Rick Steiner fighting out Rick with a knee to the abdomen of Bobby Baker, takes Bobby to the corner, running close line in the corner, picking Bobby back up off his feet, lovely planted DDT and then turning to Mark Jones and just flexing, keeping Bobby Baker away from the tag and gets him up for the Samoan driver from Rick Steiner and goes for the cover. Mark Jones in to make the save though. But Scott taking care of Mark Jones with a lovely DDT. And now Rick Steiner's got the single leg Boston Crab in on Bobby Baker. Bobby Baker's in the middle of the ring and he is tapping. Mark Jones nowhere to be seen. The Steiner brothers picking up the victory over the Brotherhood. The Steiner brothers with an impressive victory over the Brotherhood there. Surely title contenders now. Great stuff by the Steiner brothers. Next up guys, we do have Rick Rude taking on Haku. And it looks like Rick Rude's trying to beat everyone that Razor Ramon is beating. Talking of Razor Ramon, he is coming down with Haku. Maybe it's just keep an eye on this match. Rick Rude has 3 minutes 30 seconds to beat if he wants to beat Razor Ramon's time. Misses the elbow though. Haku with a nice elbow moment. Then Haku misses the heel kick. Nice clubbing blow to the back from Rick Rude. Rick Rude picking Haku up. Haku fighting out. Nice elbows. Haku 
taking Rick Rude against the ropes. Flying forearm in the corner. Not looking good for Rick Rude so far. Kicks to the leg. The Haku chopping Rick Rude down. Even when he's against the ropes. Really working on that leg. But Rick Rude caught the leg. That time hits an elbow to the forehead. And Haku rolls to the outside. Lovely punch taking Haku off the side of the apron. Kick to the back of Haku, picking Haku up off the floor. Punch to the midsection. Surely Rick Rude does not want to win via counter. He wants to prove that he could beat Razor Ramon's time in the ring. But as I say, that Haku chucking Rick Rude in, not giving him a choice. Lovely clothesline from Rick Rude. The Ravishing one in control again, taking Haku into the corner. Lovely clothesline in the corner, goes for the cover. Just the one count, just the one count. Rick Rude dragging Haku into the middle of the ring, stomping on the back of the arm of Haku. Now looking for the pile driver, hits the pile driver. We're currently on about a minute and a half. Can he get this one in the bag? Rick Rude, knowing he's got time to play with. Knowing he's got about a minute, minute and a half left to beat Razor Ramon's time. Aku with the jawbreaker. Maybe trying to mess up Rick Rude's plans. Lovely uppercut from Haku. Kick to the midsection. Rick Rude picks him up, drops him with a backbreaker. Currently looking about a minute left on the timer as Rick Rude looks for the Rude Awakening. Hits the Rude Awakening. Rick Rude going for the cover. Can he do it? And Razor Ramon even clapping him as he wins. Ravishing Rick Rude defeating Haku in two minutes and eight seconds. Beating Razor Ramon's time once more. And then look at this. Saying why not. Kicking the you know what out of Haku after the match. Referee trying to call him off. Rick Rude just enjoying himself as he does. And it is time for the main event guys. HBK Shawn Michaels. Getting another shot at the SMW World Heavyweight Championship. But this time, there will be no interruptions. This time, Macho Man has no backup. Can Shawn Michaels take advantage? Can he get the victory? Can he be the new SMW World Heavyweight Champion? We will see right here, right now. Macho Man's got to be nervous. He knows he's got no backup. Shawn Michaels nearly had him beat last time. The fans chanting for HBK. Pile driver to start things off by the Heartbreak Kid. Nice boot to the back from Shawn Michaels. Now goes over. Picking Macho Man up. Hits the elbow to Macho Man's jaw. Floats over. Swinging net breaker from the heartbreak kid turning macho man over lovely elbow drop to the lower back of randy savage now randy savage getting up big knee to the face of hbk nice leg drop by macho man kick to the back now slamming michael's head against the mat you gotta remember like Macho Man is no slouch. Very good competitor. Beat The Undertaker with no distractions. Beat The Bulldog with no distractions. Elbow drop from the top from Michaels. Can he get this one won already? Michaels not even going for the cover. He wants to inflict some more damage on Macho Man possibly. Macho Man picking Michaels up. Sends Michaels into the corner. Michaels goes over the top and flings back into the ring. Now 
snapping the net, leg of Michaels. Macho Man on top, big, big right hands. Macho Man trying to stay in control of this match, but running around like a madman, maybe getting a little bit too excited here, Macho Man. Macho Man, oh look at that, big knee from the top rope, taking HBK down, HBK did nip up, but Macho Man taking him straight back down, now Macho Man calling for Michaels to get to his feet, big double axe handle from the top, and now going up, we know what he's going for here guys, he's going for the elbow drop, Macho Man looking to retain the SMW World Heavyweight Championship and he hits the elbow. Surely that's it. The referee counts. One, two, and Michael's kicking out. Macho Man that close to retaining his title. Like I say, guys, do not underestimate Macho Man. He's a fierce competitor. Now slamming Michaels head against the mat again. Picking Michaels up to his feet. Michaels with a jawbreaker though. Is that a super kick? He's just super kicked Macho Man out of nowhere. Just the two count. Michaels can't believe it. He thought he'd had that one in the bag with a sweet chin music. Picking Macho Man back up to his feet. Takes Macho Man over the top rope. Now maybe looking to just suplex him back in and he does fall in suplex back into the ring by Sean Michaels and Sean Michaels going up high. Calling for Macho Man to get to his feet this time. Sean Michaels diving crossbody off of the top rope. And now Michaels running back up top, maybe looking for a second elbow drop. And he hits the elbow dead center of the ring gets the cover macho man kicking out again holding on for dear life now michael stomping on the head of macho man and now michael's tuning up the band tuning up the band for a little bit of sweet chin music hits it surely that's it now surely it's over macho man cannot kick out of this and he doesn't. Sean Michaels, the heartbreak kid, is your new SMW World Heavyweight Champion. And let's take a look at some of these replays, guys. That elbow drop right there, taking a lot out of Macho Man. Then Macho Man coming back into it, the double axe handle off the top. And then goes straight up top for the elbow drop to the middle of the ring. And that's where I thought Macho Man had held on to the gold. But HBK just kicking out in time. And then look at this elbow drop from Shawn Michaels. And Macho Man kicking out of that elbow drop. But then Michaels coming in with a sweet chin music. Knocking Macho Man cold out. And getting the three count. To become your new SMW World Heavyweight Champion. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like the episode. And if you aren't already, please make sure you subscribe. It does mean so much to us here. I've been your host, Weslin, and we'll see you right here, same time, same place, next week on Sunday Morning Wrestling.